Attention loyal citizens of Alpha Complex. A reminder that listening to the extra of the Terrible Warrior podcasts is mandatory. Especially if you want to know more details about the next fun initiative by your friend, the computer. Stick around at the end of this episode for more details. The computer is your friend, and fun is mandatory. Space. The thing we have to cross. These are the voyages of the USS Horizon. Its ongoing mission, to seek out new life, to swear it was on stun the whole time, and to boldly claim, we we can can fix fix it. 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 Night crew! That was my talk in to say hello, and he just cut me off. Hey, everyone, welcome to the Terrible Warriors. I am your GM, Justin Eacock, and we are returning to Star Trek Adventures this month. You can sign up to the Living Campaign right now by going over to Modiphius' website and just uh, clicking, I want to play the Living Campaign. It's on the Star Trek page. As well as um, they just put out the, the Next Generation character sheets, which are available, yeah, and a whole new that. play tile sets. Oh, that's all kind of neat. Uh, and so this game is uh, part of an email list that, that I've signed up to, and everyone is playing along with it. And at the end of the game, you can sign on a survey, and depending on people's in you know out of the box thinking uh, it helps direct the next chapter that is released a, a few months later down the road and uh, they've got plans to go into another season of this and it's been a lot of fun playing we're a little bit delayed the game we're playing today is actually came out uh, in December of 2017 uh, or maybe, no, no, this one came out Earlier. in September. September, September 2017, uh, called The Tug yeah. of War. So we're way past the point where we can uh, put into the survey, which we is can't fine. Just, we can't just um, binge watch this whole thing? <laughs> we, I've been trying, I've been trying, but you guys can't all come and play as often as I want to. So I am here with the crew of the Horizon, who have spent a whole nice time sort of doing shore leave, learning some science, learning about the perils of the Prime Directive, finding out about an ancient uh, 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 extinct society from hundreds of thousands of years ago, and then on their way out, oh, they got trapped! It's a, it's a snare! As ancient weapons have activated, trying to push them into the other planet, and they're wedged in between. How are they going to get out of this one? I don't actually have an answer to that. They're going to have to tell me. All uh-huh. round the table at my left, your right, we are joined by our players. I am the science officer, Lieutenant Bo Lassa, played by Velvet Duke of the Dandies. And I'm Lieutenant Commander Adam Munro, uh, Chief Engineer, played by Steve Saylor, a.k.a. The Blind Gamer. And uh, I'm Ensign uh, Steve Armstrong, played by Brent Morris from the Show Hole Podcast. And Joshua Barbeau, playing the guy who's going to be blamed if everything goes wrong. Yep. Commander Connell Haddock in, uh, in command of the... Uh, Horizon. The buck stops with, stops with Haddock. Yes, it does. And from our Patreon rewards program, Connecting Online. Uh, Ken, a.k.a. Ken Reels, playing Kendrith Pike. This is what you get for putting too many fish on one ship. <laughs> I just want to say. Both of you are survivors Starting of destroyed starships, so maybe they should just start putting you all together. So, uh, <laughs> whenever, before we get into the first world, we have to resolve the damage you took at the end of episode one. Whenever the structure system suffers one or more breaches, the ship shutters, power conduits rupture, consoles explode, and personnel are hurled around. I only roll one D6, even though you suffered two breaches. If an effect is rolled, a five or a six, a random character on the ship, player characters or important NPCs, will be injured. The player can avoid injury as normal. We were talking about how you can avoid injuries uh, 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 if they were normally allowed to. You can avoid injury once per combat. Uh, These injuries are considered to be lethal. So, it's a five. It's an effect. Shit. Okay. Um, So, I have five players plus five... Uh, or give or take uh, notable NPCs. What we got? We got uh, uh, Arjun, uh, Cherny, Volsar, Prince. Okay, so I'm going to roll... Redshirt's just going to die. I'm going to roll one to six. Velvet one, Steve two, uh, Armstrong, uh, we got uh, three, Haddock is five, uh, uh, four. Ken, you're, you're five, and if I roll a six, I'll just re-roll. If you get injured, you can defer that injury to one of these notable NPCs. Okay. Okay. Mm. So five, Commander Haddock. <laughs> so you're there oh. on the bridge. Ken, Ken was oh, five. Ken, I Ken, was four. Ken. Oh, yeah, Kendra's no. Pike. <laughs> so you're down oh, no. in engineering, and uh, actually, it's going to be between you and Chief Engineer Jared Cherney. 
as uh, uh, it's not a containment. Wait, there's two chief engineers. Yeah, it's, 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 it's you can't be question. running engineering twenty four seven. There's a night shift staff. You got a number of department oh, heads, grew, grew. And, and and chief department de- engineer department department heads are usually referred to as chief. Uh, okay. So like uh, the Enterprise had like five or six chiefs. You just only ever saw Jordy after season two. Right. So okay. the um. Uh, throughout season one, there's a bunch of engineers all rotating around. Uh, remember Chief Engineer Argyle, anybody? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, do I ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, Scotty wannabe. So, we've got um, Jared Cherney and Kendrith Pike are down in engineering when there's a rupture on not the antimatter containment pods, but, like, one of those, like, real, like, cold coolant mm-hmm. things that are, like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go AST. off. Um, who's in the way, Ken? Uh, sorry, Journey's going to be. You know? So you're there, and and when when with that, there's a there's a there's a a, a, a a whole breach down on on the engineering deck as as things are getting crushed and 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 the 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 structural integrity of the ship has failed and the whole outer hull of the ship is starting to like wrinkle on a microscopic level and one of those wrinkles causes a breach there on uh, was it deck thirty six. Is that engineering? Uh, that, that number rings a bell. Uh, sure. Something like that. It's anyway, the engineering deck and and it ruptures a coolant a uh, 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 pipe near Cherney who gets blasted in the chest and the face <laughs> like, like, like that dry ice effect on the, oh. on the night <laughs> and he falls down to the ground and, and um, wait uh, is he shattered in the ground shatters, yeah. uh, n- no uh, because <laughs> a, as, as an injury it's considered lethal if it's not treated by the end of the combat round oh, okay. so, so you can still get like medical crews but you'll actually have to get yeah. medical <laughs> crews to engineering you know what I don't, I don't appreciate this Patreon on Patreon violence here the <laughs> other thing here on sensors because we all have sensors. Whenever the sensor system suffers one or more breaches, it disrupts those functions temporarily. Until the sensor operations officer, which in this case is actually a support officer, Prince, or anyone on the bridge, uh, La Sabo would count for that, uh, you can use a restore minor action. You cannot use any tasks that are assisted by the ship's sensors. Your sensors, you can't get an assist roll from them. And any minor action, uh, until that minor action is performed, all attacks made by the ship will be increased difficulty. Well, you we don't really know what to attack right now anyways. Uh, so, anyway, if you want to use your sensors, you can't until someone like on reboot. the bridge reboots the sensors. Okay. Uh, but that said, uh, both sensors and structure have taken two breaches. Uh, your scale is only six. If you get another breach on either of those two systems, you're going to be dealing with a damaged system, not an impacted system. Okay. And that's got a, that's a whole different... Description box. Got it. Combat I think sensors order. Are priority. <laughs> it will order. always start with players, unless I'm being particularly unfair, like I did in the last round because you were all caught off guard. <laughs> I have two beams that are attacking the ship, so I get two turns. But we go turn by turn. So a player will go first, then I get to go. Second player will go, then I get to go. And then the remaining players will finish the round, and then I get to go. And the the the, the next opposing team at the end of a round always goes first. So you're going three times total. Well, no. Then at the top of the next round, I'll start. Oh, you start uh, next round. And then okay. a player, and then me, and then the four players will go. You I just got, seems off the top of the round. I off understand. the very stop. So one of you five gets to have the first reaction well, to this before I get another attack roll on I the I think ship. the first thing I want to do is... is, is Say what's going on? Damage report. Let's let's get. Let's well, find we out don't what's have happening. sensors, so we can't really tell. So you well, get uh, you get a minor ta- a minor action. I use my minor action to put the sensors back online. Cool. All right. So you, you make your way over to uh, 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 <laughs> Stephen Prince this. and uh, get the sensors back up. So the sensors are running, and uh, and then you can roll for a. Um, it's it's there on your combat task, or it's uh, uh, for a damage report. I had it uh, bookmarked right here. Fire weapon, modulate shields, tractor beam, signal jamming, damage report. Um, you can put out a call to all decks and promptly receive reports of damage from across the ship. It's insight plus command, assisted by communications and engineering on the ship, which uh, in this case will be uh, communications is nine, engineering is three, that's 12. So that uh, so the ship have someone else someone roll, else. For, roll the ship. for the ship. I'll roll for the ship. So you're rolling under twelve, Steve. Insight rolling one plus die. Two. Insight one plus die. command. Sure, sure, sure. Insight plus command. Got under it. twelve, you said. Yeah, difficulty of one. I have one success. Okay. <laughs> ship failed. Ship failed. Uh, how bad was it? Uh, it was a seventeen. Okay, it wasn't a complication though. No. Um, you uh, reduce the difficulty of one task to perform repairs by one. 
So in terms of repairing the breaches on sensors and structure, those difficulties are currently at two because of the two breaches. Uh-huh. They'll be reduced down to one. Um, so we need only one success to repair. One task for a poor repaired by one uh, effect. Uh, one additional task for one momentum repeatable or reduce the difficulty of one task by one additional for two momentum. So you can spend so momentum here. So I can spend momentum. To have it as two repair tasks or to lower one of those repair tasks to zero. What do you guys think? Go for both. Go for both? Yeah, okay, so both. Uh, give me one of those uh, momentum die. There you go. Thank there you. you. Let's right. put that down to the bank. Um, great. Okay. So, so each one has been reduced by one. Captain calls in a report. And down in engineering, you're getting more accurate details on exactly where the damage is on the ship. Okay. And sure enough, it's uh, 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 it, it's damage around the edge of the saucer along the sensor strips, which is why they've gone deactivated as the whole ship is crushing in. Sure. The sensors got overloaded. Uh, and then the, the overall structural integrity field of the ship has failed. And unless that can be restored, the ship will continue to just compress on itself. Uh-huh. And uh, between the force of these two r- repulsor beams and the... Um, uh, the, the the structural integrity, you're getting reports of specific areas of hull breaches okay. that you can send repair crews out to start patching things up or putting up force fields or closing bulkheads and all that. Before you get a go, though, all right, the starboard good. repulsor beam pushes into the ship again with another blast, and it, they all fail, uh, I, I believe. Uh, they, it, I have to get a under nine, and they're all bad. So, so you feel the whole ship shudder as it's starting to push in, but no damage this time. You all got real lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to go next before we have the whole round where everyone finishes? Okay, so we have, there are two breaches in the structure and then two in uh, sensors, yeah. correct? Shields are down. They can't. Steven Prince is on the tactical board. He can't get the shields up right. while... The, the beams are locked onto the ship, right? You can't get a bubble around them because yeah. the beams are on the ship. Yeah. So they can't raise shields, and it's pushing directly into the hull of the ship, which is the stru- overloaded the structural integrity field, and it's just collapsed. And so the things that normally stop the ship from collapsing in on itself because it's such a weird shape have failed, and, I, and it's bringing it down. Can I use a, a minor action to start up the shields? You can, but uh, the, the shields, as, as I was trying to there's explain no narratively, point. they can't raise while there's a lock on the ship. Oh, you can't okay. get the shield established you the while you got the beams on. The Deal with the new beams. So okay. you you can um, the sensors are down. Structure um, doesn't really get disabled because it's not a system. It's just right. life support. Right. Uh, and I haven't made any complications from that yet. Um, but you can do a minor action. What were some of the minor actions uh, that were there I'm going on over on the some ship? Of them now you've got minor actions. You could aim, uh, draw an item, drop prone, interact, movement, prepare. S- or stand up. Those are the ones that are listed. What is I'll, I'll, I'll just prepare. Yeah. Uh, Character uh, prepares or spends time setting up a task. Some tasks require the minor action to be taken for the. We don't really have he, anything like that. Can he use a minor action to request uh, medical teams to come to engineer? I would count that as, uh, yeah, as like a report. So yeah. so you put out a call for, for a crew assist to the medical team. I was going to say it was because it was, churney's was gonna on the ground. That, or I was going to do, like, basically send out uh, damage control teams. But yeah, that is a Actually, better sending out damage control teams that is, an action? is an action. The oh, officer okay. sends a damage control team which attempts to repair a single breach. The the, re- the breach won't be erased. It still counts as a dot, but it, you're no longer h- dealing with the uh, repercussions of it. Okay. Um, the, 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 uh, the officer, uh, a single damaged or disabled system and attempts a presence plus engineering task with a difficulty determined by the system chosen. Um, oh, see, page 230. Why would that be on a different page? Um <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, if successful, the system is restored to function and can use again normally. This does not remove any breaches the ship has suffered, only the penalties imposed by the damage. Okay. So the penalties on the structure is free movement through the ship. You've got gravity failing, bulkheads closing, fires breaking out. So by repairing those breaches, you'll be able to move freely through the ship without having to take complications. Okay. So minor action, uh, send a medic to heal uh, yep. Cherney. Uh, Volsar then, sends a sends a medic team to engineering. Yeah, and then uh, my action will be to send a damage control teams to one of the breaches. Okay, which breach? Uh, sensors or structure? Structure. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you send some. You send an engineering team out to deal with the structure. It, it would be a two, but we've got it reduced to one. Okay. So the difficulty is one. Presence plus engineering. Okay. And you can purchase dice or can in engineering. You can assist. With this as well, and you can start building up your dice pool like you normally would. Well, assisting a- uh, some someone who's assisting though that uses up their task to assist. Yes, for the round. 
does yeah. it? Yes. yes. Oh. Assisting okay. is a yeah, task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Ken, you got a choice here. You can assist with the task, or you and, can hold on to do a task of your own. Um, and no, actually, he if he wanted to assist, he I would have to have gone before you know, Steve yeah, you to know use what? his I'll, turn to assist. Yeah, I'm gonna say th- right. I'll, I'll say this. I think says right here. Ken, <laughs> hold like hold on to your to your action because I think we're gonna be the ones who need it the most. Yeah, exactly. If I repair one at the same time, but I believe it. Sorry. If I repair one breach, Ken, then essentially you could be able to repair the second breach and then we're we which is good. what I was thinking yeah. yeah okay cool all right so I've got you said presence in engineering is I got a roll yep uh, so it's a nine and a five so 14 so okay um, okay well you've also got your talents too? as well if you remember I think your talents have something to help you out with things Spirit and you can I use determination points everyone's got one determination point starting that they can use to immediately purchase a, a dice at one we're basically in too much of a shitty situation to, well, to I, have time to assist you right now. Yeah, yeah, no, I Because know, I, as soon as somebody goes, that's then That's, that's totally fine. Happens. I mean, the only thing I have that would work would be um, uh, Jerry Rig, but, it's only, but that's only a temporary fix. It's, Restoring the structural integrity field to the ship will hold off the pressure being exerted on the, on the hull, and the ship will mm-hmm. stop taking damage. You won't be free, yeah. but you'll be able to get out. Um, and and uh, you can spend momentum if you want to ask me for some suggestions. If you are having a hard time coming to how to restore the yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like for my my uh, my talents, I don't want to use jury rig because it's a temporary yeah. uh, thing to build yeah. a repair, and yeah. it's only lasts yeah. the scene. What I'm saying is, you're sending out repair crews, which is fine. Yes, but it isn't also like you're 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 trying to patch up the bleeding without dealing with the trauma that's currently being inflicted. Like if you start patching up breaches. More breaches it, are just going to keep coming. It's not going to stop the ongoing damage. I, I, yeah, I, I get damage. that. I just want to be able to fix the. I want to be able to fix the immediate damage, and then so at least we're like safe for right now, and then okay, right. uh, basically try to figure out a way to be able to get out of this. All right. So go ahead here and roll your uh, presence plus engineering. Uh, do I roll anything for the ship as well? Or you're, you're not using a ship system to send people okay. to the ship. Fair. All right. So <laughs> let's see. Uh, both are successes. Uh, Five and a twelve. <laughs> What's your engineering at? Five. And let me see your focuses. Let me see. Any of your focuses work with this? Uh, s- no. I'm going to say, if you had something that dealt with, like, teamwork or, or working with crew, I could have even made that into an advantage. Uh, oh. Because whenever you work a focus in with a task, yeah. you increase your advantage range. And so you get, like... Uh, not just a success, but an advantage on top of that success. Oh, I see. Like I you would see. if you rolled a one, it becomes a one to five because yeah, the range no, equals yeah. the amount on your discipline. Yeah. I right? mean, I succeed. Anyway, okay, okay, so you yeah. succeed. They head out. Uh, the structure uh, now counts as only having one uh, breach to the ship. Uh, it will continue to shake and 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 deal uh, injuries. Um, and you've got you know issues with uh, with with gravity and life support on different, but but it, yeah, they're working at it. Yeah. So there's one there's one active breach on structures. Um, my go. Mm-hmm. The port side repulsor beam <laughs> pushes the ship in the starboard direction. I'll put that back in there. And that's a, what did I say? Is a nine? A nine? Was it only a nine I'm rolling into? It is. So that's two successes. Ouch. Looky me. Oh. Um, that just, I'm, uh, it's going to generate me threat, which I can use when you're. Uh, Messing up my plans. So for now, I'm just going to roll seven die. I've got Only seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, but you've got a resistance of six. Your ship is massive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a little ASMR. Uh, boom. Uh, blank. Oh, six. So that's an effect. So high yield mm-hmm. takes into effect. One, two. Uh, and then a bunch of blanks. Nice. I only dealt two damage. Um... Which doesn't break our resistance. Which doesn't break your resistance because your ship but is really strong. So you're still there. there. So the so then the effects don't happen. Because well, the you the effects through, still or? happen, but they only trigger when a breach is done. If I deal a right. breach, I deal two breaches. Right. But I didn't deal any because uh, I only rolled two damage, and you got a resistance of six. Mm. So I have okay. to break mm. six right. for every one damage over. I deal a breach for every five. I deal an additional. All right, so I when see. I rolled okay. up like 17 earlier. Okay, good. Now the rest of us get turns. Yes. So we've Let's got, fix this we've got problem. three more people here. Who wants to go uh, next? So I have an idea. What's your idea, Ensign? Is there, a, is there a way that we can fool the beams into targeting something else? That 
is like a shuttle or something. That's a brilliant idea, Ensign. If only we were able to use like any of our uh, systems. systems effectively <laughs> yeah, right now. You could do an extended task to learn about the sensor targeting system and why it is they're 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 working on you. Um, Ensign, if you want to go down to the shuttle bay and take a shuttle bu- a shuttle out and try to use well, that to distract well, the beams the thing by I'm all means. <laughs> Here's Go ahead. Ahead. You could also about, use though, the satellite. That, that is the most pressing matter of the structural well. integrity field. Everyone yeah. should be working to restoring that, well, and okay. then yeah. we can all meet up in the briefing room and figure okay. out how big was the do. satellite that we that small international space station size. Like it could, it, okay. it would have been able to fit into your shuttle base if you could have hold, held on to runabouts. You don't have extended so a ra- uh, a runabout is much bigger than than, a sa- than the satellite. We need to fix the yeah, structural runabout integrity. Can fit 60 That's people. what we should be okay. focusing on right so now. So runabout is considered a starship. Well, here's the thing. I don't think a shuttle is going to do it because it's got a big ship. That's fine, but that's ship. that's the next problem. Yeah, yeah. 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 Problem okay. right now is the structural integrity. Yeah, yeah. Priorities, and yeah, exactly. I'm working on. Priorities. I'm working. Good, good thinking, but people are being vented into space right now. <laughs> well, about me. All right, yeah. then I will so, assist. You're taking initiative. By thinking about the fantastic. Problem. I mean, you can. You are at the helm. You can try and use the engines to move yourself. Out of the tractor beams, um, can you change our? Direction? You know, however you've got. Yeah, can you change yeah. the orientation of the ship. So but I mean, it 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 would right, it, it, it would have to be first. a it would have to be a, just a really incredible role because that's my whole game right now. So mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, let's uh, fix the ship first. So maybe Ken should go next because he's yeah. an engineer. Yeah, I mean, engineers. Is there any things. help you want to request from the other players that will help you with your movie? You guys can... You've got an open comm line. Your communication right. systems haven't gone down. Well, we can use, I didn't actually use any of the power uh, available. And, and yeah, the others can I, assist you with their action if they're not doing anything else. That's true. And yeah. uh, on the side of Armstrong as well on the helm, you can spend... There's 10 power on the ship. You could spend power into... Uh, a con roll with the engines and try and boost power hey, with the engines. Hey, here's a thought. If we spent all 10 power to try to force our way out of this trap that we're in, uh, your complication you we range would be it? 10 and 20. There would be I a very high chance we would end up blowing up in the yeah. cells of the ship in the process. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, hey, like, all, all, I will, all I will say is I'm giving you all she's got and I don't <laughs> recommend that, Captain. All right. <laughs> so what do you need, Ken? Um, I was, I was thinking, You can um, do more damage reports to lower okay. those difficulties even further. But anyway, Ken, you were thinking, I cut you off, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, I, I was thinking, like, um, I would take, uh, I would go ahead and use, like, one or two power and try and, uh, boost the, uh, structural integrity field and kind of, fix that. Okay, so you're going to use two power to add into your roll, and that's the mechanics, but where in order to just, you're not as an engineer, you know that these repulsor beams, if they're what your survey teams you you would suspect this planet had built this technology, were meant to grab satellites like moon-sized planetoids Mm. and hurl them into other planets, they're able to move masses of such size, the the horizon is nothing. It's a P compared to it. So in order to get the structural integrity field that strong, you're not just going to be able to do auxiliary power. You have to redirect power from another non-essential system into the structural integrity field. To give you an idea, Ken, last night I happened to watch the episode of TNG called Deja Q. And in that Mm. episode, Picard tries putting literally all of his power into the tractor beam to try to move a moon-sized object, and he doesn't succeed. Yeah. But these these things that are pushing against us on both sides can do that. So Mm. and are succeeding. And are succeeding. Yeah. 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 The only reason why you're not currently in one of the other planets is they're both hitting you with an almost equal force, and they're just gonna squish you into like a singularity in the center. So the um, so you've got the right idea, Ken. I just would I the caveat is where is that additional power coming from? Um. Hmm. Well, we need engines. Take it from shields. The shields are down anyway. How about the deflector? Yeah. No one uses the freaking deflector. <laughs> shields are shields down anyway. I, Take I, whatever I, I power we normally I put the shields. Yeah, the deflector shield. counts as the sensors, which ah, have already damage. taken damage. <laughs> um, so you, you've you got some power from sensors. Maybe it's enough. You can roll to find out. Um, and, uh, I and think you, pulling from shields is much more pressing because it's like, well, the shields are down. 
we might as well pull from the shields for the moment. And we can't really turn on the shields until this, until this mm, is fixed. Yeah. So yeah. Can we pull power from what we normally yeah. put into the shields? Yeah, I mean, you can spend momentum to ask me, like, is this going to work? <laughs> like, like to I, obtain information. We do it. Is, is this, this going to work? work? If we pull, it's not enough power. Power. <laughs> not enough power. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now we know. The deflector shields aren't going to give you. There is there is one thing on the ship that has enough power. It's truly, the engines. Is the, right. the fusion engines. core? Then then do it. Of 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 of, 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 of the right. cells. Do it, Ken. Right. Take the power from yep. the engines. Against yeah, my I'm better take, judgment, do it. We're going to take it from the engines and. S- I can use my focus of power systems to help. Perfect. Yeah. In fact, with out. the power systems, that's why you know this. Uh, difficulty right. of two. This is an engineering task. Um, How good are you at engineering, Ensign? Uh, sh- not good. Two. Okay. You can also pass your task on to Ken down in engineering to let him have a go. Right. Okay. If you want, like, like uh, you, you. Oh, you, you, you can't uh, you Ken's can't go. give up your your action so that somebody else can get a bonus action. No, but you can pass and take your action later in the round. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 But I mean, uh, so so we've got we've got a plan down on engineering. Is there something you'd like to do first, or do you want to wait to see? How well, I was plays just out? I was just trying to see if uh, Armstrong over here would be if it would be a benefit for Armstrong to go assist Ken. But, yeah. Yeah. But he, it's not really. It, he would have to be in engineering. Yeah. To do that from the bridge, there's not much you can do. Um, oh, yeah, in you'd, that have pa- to, you'd have to sprint in to that get to particular move. But you could spend your task to get down to engineering right away. Do you want me to go to engineering? And I don't. There? I don't. Do you right. think? Do you think you guys have enough help down there? Or do you need somebody else? Do you need I, our I helmsman? Think... You're saying things are on fire. Churney's being dragged out on a gurney. Yeah. There's a uh, there's a few other people who have been like you know just injured from some <laughs> explosions. Like, chaos and engineering, and the captain's like, "You guys need some help." No, it's, how long can you hold your context breath? is important. Do you need help from our he- from our ensign helmsman? Here? Context is king. With bad yeah. engineering skills. With bad engineering skills, he probably would get in the way more than he'd help. Okay, uh, in fact, if he gets this going, then you can start working on your science thing to figure out what the tractor beams are really exactly. doing. Exactly. Which is your, which is so, your better uh, yeah. uh, trait, engineering or, si- or science? Uh, both are two. Oh. Yeah, he's he's a helmsman. <laughs> he's aligned to be a command. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive yeah. it. That's fine. Uh, you could help me with science things. Yeah, he can. Uh, yeah. I'd probably. We head over to the science console board. in the back of the bridge. All yeah. right, so down at engineering, so Ken, uh, it's all uh, on you, yep. Lieutenant Commander yep. Pike. Your engineering task. Uh, I am open. Engineering is the discipline. The attribute is up to you in terms of how you want to do this. Um, we're gonna go with uh. Using my reason because logically, okay, I know using my focus with the power systems, I know that things are going to, I know yeah. how everything works. So it makes sense for it to okay. be. So it's uh, an engineering task with a difficulty of two, which means you need to beat that two. So you're going to need a minimum. Can no, use, no. Can if, he, if you, can you, we use you, a momentum? Both your dice will have to be successes. Can he? Can we use a or, momentum to lower the difficulty by one? No, you can use momentum to purchase additional dice. Uh, yeah. I'd say let's do that. Like yeah. better the odds of having to roll for, three dice than another sure. two. But, but I'm also, but I can also use my value. Sometimes the simplest solution is simple. Yeah, and that oh. immediately will yeah. get you a dice at one. Right. I'd rather say let's double the chances and let's use a momentum. Yep. Let's, All right. So let's that, spend the momentum. So that's two momentum to purchase your second dice. Two? Okay. Yeah, okay. because you've used a value yeah, so, to purchase yeah. your first. Okay. So now you're rolling three die, and one of them is already at one. And it's three momentum for another die, correct? Correct. Done. To a maximum of five die. You've got you've got now, uh, what, five dice that okay. he's doing? How much on? momentum do you have left? You've only got one momentum left. I'm okay with that. Let's um, fix the structure. Would you like integrity. to use any power points on the ship? You've got ten power. Ken, take what you need to solve this problem. Every every power success you get will generate momentum, even if you don't make the difficulty threshold. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and use two power. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm into that. Do it. Right. Just to be safe. So that means your complication range is now 18 to 20. You don't want to roll 18 right. to 20. That's and fine. What, yeah, yeah. Is, uh, what is the dice check you're going for between engineering and uh, reason? So, so wait, spending uh, power did what? He's got five dice. Spending power makes it so it's that... It's going to increase... It, it, it creates more uh, things happening when he gets successes. In, in the, mostly in the generation of momentum. Gotcha. Okay. He'll generate uh, two momentum for um, each success he gets. My target's 13. Okay. Do it. 
All right, we've got uh, we got a, and since it's two, uh, one critical success. Uh, nice. uh, two critical su successes Ooh, actually. That's all we needed. And and then one more success on top of that, and two failures. No complications. Okay. So three three successes, two of them critical. Okay. So yep. You get your momentum for the for the two powers. Wait, how many wait. how many over success? You got you got four successes. Three. You got three, three successes, two three of which successes, were critical. Yeah, but, critical. but also the value success that he had. He had one dice at one. Oh, point. yeah. Yeah, so he got two successes over the difficulty value. So I'll throw in the four. He didn't hit any of the complications, so good for you. Um, you get to create an advantage here that's going to help everyone else as the power to the structural integrity field. The ship is still rocking and is still being pushed around, but things stop exploding. Uh, what advantage would you like to create? Can we get the shields back on? You cannot get the shields back on no. while your ship is locked in tractor beams. Okay. Right. Um, I think... Uh, hmm. I think sensors should be just turned back on. The advantage yeah. can just... It, it can lower the difficulty by getting... Yeah, the sen you can have... The, the, sensors the sensors were on, but they're they're like operational now, and they start bringing in information to lower the difficulty. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. With with that uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Great, cool. So wait, he he fixed the structural integrity. He's restored power to the structural integrity. Okay, you know for now. But the structural integrity is still damaged. The ship is still trapped between two very powerful repulsor beams. But the structural integrity has you you stabilized. You have stabilized it, but if you want to leave, you got to put engines back on, which will lower the structural integrity again. You'll be right back to where you were. Right. Okay, can can right. the can the advantage that he creates um, be something to do with with that? <laughs> um, <laughs> since that is the linchpin of this story, I'm going to say no. <laughs> no, no. Um, the I logic. I mean, if you, 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 you techno babble me through that how it works, because the way we, as I understand it, you have redirected power from the engines to the structural integrity field. The ship is no longer being crushed. It has enough power supplied by the engines to keep the hull of the ship from crushing in. Yeah, yeah. If you want to move anywhere, you're going to lose the one thing keeping the ship together. All Essentially, right. it's like, it's like what if we're about... trying to move between so, two things. No, you cannot like use an against... advantage to create the one major complication I have for you. But you can use it to create, like... I just say it just it just repairs the sensors. The, the, yeah, okay. you, 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 you've got a you got a little yeah. extra power after the structural integrity is gone on. You redirect into the sensors, and yeah. uh, the the repair crews are able to with with the oh well how about this? The repair crews are able to do an, an, another repair on on the shields to remove one of the breaches. Uh, yeah. They get they get like a. a so now we only got one action. breach in sensors. That's one it. breach in sensors. One breach yeah. in structure. So now because now I have an idea using the sensors determine exactly where the point of origin of these beams are coming from, and then just fire the hell into out of it. Yes. Like, so we're fire everything. Fire, we're gonna fire everything. Fire at the plant. Yes. Yes, we were, we're going to do that. I, 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 I have had that on, in my mind from the moment this happened. We oh, okay. only need to do it to one of them. Right. Because yeah. then they just will push the other one will push us, us right. into yeah. the other planet. Well, you know. Well, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a galaxy class starship. Yeah. Our yeah. engines we'll can be able to kick in in time. They did a really good job the first time that happened. Shut up. Is uh <laughs> is that it for for Ken's turn? That's it for Ken's turn. So now we've got Armstrong and Bo. Lieutenant um, Bo, can you tell me where these beams are coming from? Now that sensors are online, enough. <laughs> enough. En enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I will get to work on that right away. Armstrong, give him a hand. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so it, now the ship is kind of like think like aircraft <laughs> turbulence. Yep. It's just constantly. <laughs> Just shaking. Kinda the lights are still kind of flickering, and it's still like, you know, you can tell the ship is still under stress. Tractor. It's just, it's just not, you know, it's still under tractor, but two opposing tractor beams. Basically, we got vibrating seats right now. You know, and you got power <laughs> fluctuations throughout the ship because there's a lot of power going through the structural integrity than would otherwise be the case. So it's, it's causing like lights to flicker, and yeah. uh, the, the, the life support systems are working, but it's getting colder as well because everything is just straining against it. So it's. You know, the ship itself, she's hurting. Right. Fair enough. So. All right. Well, I'm going to focus. I, I, I'm going to do uh, 
I am going to do a minor task of sending out science lab people mm -hmm. to assist in engineering and or medical. Okay. So you send, yeah, you send your science departments out to yeah. like, you know, get, a, get don't out. worry about the archaeology stuff right yeah. now. <laughs> you're, you're all on repair duty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Put they start making their the, way, yeah. they start yeah. making their way Our through and like important. shoring up the breaches and, and, and making sure those sensors uh, are getting repaired. And then right. as long as the structural integrity goes up, that can just be like a passive thing that's happening in the background by all your crew. Um, you send Volsar off to, to... Of course to, I do. Oh, uh, no, that's a doctor. Uh, Ogin, Arjun Okir, the, oh, the trail yeah. from last time. You, yeah. uh, you send him off to, uh, to, to look after the, uh, the science teams. So uh, for my task, I am going to try and find the point of origin. Um, and my, my goal is to try and shut one oh, of them Oh, Jared down, Charney is going to make a recovery in sickbay. Uh, you were able to get the structural integrity field nice. back up. And, yeah, yeah, and Volsar says, like, you know, he's, he's going he's gonna to have to be in, like, a hyperbaric <laughs> chamber for a little while and getting, yeah, like, dermal regenerators. Yeah. But uh, we might be able to keep the scarring at a minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my goal is to uh, try to decipher the language enough to shut it down. Yeah, the hard drive that's brought back very from the space oh, right. So at that's the very why I least. wanted to take as many uh, samples of the writing yep. so that I could try and... So you start running it through the universal translator. The linguistics, etc. Yep, yep, yep. uh, but the first thing first is to find out where the beam. Find out where it's coming okay, so that from. Sounds but like you can a shut it down. Yeah. Science and reason or science and insight uh, with an assist from the computer's and, um, and Armstrong and is science. using his action, so I'm going to use his turn, to assist uh, uh, Bo. Okay, you're assisting Bo with that, right. so that's one dice, and then you can get another sure. assist from the ship. Yeah, uh, I'll roll for the. Well, the ship. So you're rolling under thirteen okay. for um, uh, science and computers. All right. So that's four dice coming in. You can nice. spend three momentum, which you have again, to bring the it up to five. The ship passes. Well, we don't know the difficulty. It's a difficulty of two because, as I mentioned, like these things are hundreds of thousands of years old. Magnetic tape doesn't last that long. Uh, you're having to reconstruct this Probably language two, bit by dice. bit. It's, um, it's three momentum. Using a dice. diaspora yeah. of dialects that you can't even Done. understand. You don't have, like, yeah. a cipher to figure out sure. like, what this language means. I am means. trying to yeah. be the cipher. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. Well, then you, you got a dice. No, you, you, roll, you, you roll. You roll. roll that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the insight and science. Yikes. Unless you can assist oh, with different just, stats. Just barely got it. Yeah. Okay, yep. there you go. Nice. I'm and going did the ship against, succeed? Yes, the ship did succeed. So I'm going against 15. You've got two successes already. Oh, that's those are three successes. Three successes. So, so five okay. successes out of the two needed. Throw in some momentum in there. You, got, you basically got I'm your back, momentum baby. back. Um, <laughs> Science rules. Science. Yeah, you Science are. Science will save me. Yeah. Hey, remind you me to put able Lieutenant Bo in for a promotion. From the, <laughs> the, 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 you, you can't break the language of this species, but you're able to determine beyond a doubt that both beams coming from both planets based on the survey team information are identical. They were both manufactured by the same technology, maybe even from the same factories. Uh, they, 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 they are the same make and model that are being used. It's, it's, it's one, uh, it, it's not two different competing technologies. So if you can deal with one, you can deal with both. They're both functionally identical in technology, makeup, power, everything. Cool. Captain, this is Windows 3.1. Did he find <laughs> the uh, the specific location of where the beams are emanating from? They're both emanating from the equator on the planets. Because the planets are covered in such uh, the, that high metallic magnetic interference, you, oh, can't, you can't get an exact location a of the pinpoint location. of where it's coming. Just the general, like, it's coming from the equator. There. But it's coming out of this very thick winter nuclear clouds that your sensors can't penetrate. So and and the way it works with the orbits of the ship is it's a network of beams that you know every time you get a new pulse so it's the next one in range that comes in it, is, is not gonna, is yeah. just not going to work. You might get one but then the minute the rotation goes off you'll be flung towards one planet or the other until yeah. the next one in cycle comes on and grabs you. If we get our engines back up then then we might escape it, like if we can create but, that interference. But, but but if we can't, then we need to come up with a different plan. Do we, you have a solution? Are you able to? Did you learn if you are able to shut them down or not? 
I haven't got there first. You the can first spend thing some of that momentum to obtain yeah. that information. Yeah, can we so shut Lieutenant Bo so able to shut, shut these things down remotely? You yeah. have a resonance, like a frequency that you're able to pick up from yes. these, especially every time there's a new pulse that comes from a different part of the That's, of the array. That was the next um, thing. Right, the yeah. frequency. And yeah. it's it's not that you can necessarily jam it, but you actually already talked about it earlier, the deflector shields. Yeah. You could yeah. use the deflector dish potentially to generate uh, a cancel, like a noise canceling. Right. A resonance. Right. Basically a reverse. A reverse. Yeah. That yeah. will yeah. Yeah. At send least the frequency back. Neutralize yeah. the effects no, neutralize just yeah. long yeah. enough for you to away. slip out. Yeah. 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 Which is exactly what I was thinking. Like right just right. use yeah. a reverse EMP basically. Yeah. yeah. You're all you're all go. sort of coming no. at it from a different angle, but you're yeah. all heading to the same direction. Here's the thing, though. Well, uh, the timing is going to be need need to be important. We mm-hmm. send out this canceling frequency, and then we turn on the engines right away and yeah. get out of here. Yeah, not so, before. Not, so instead of trying worrying about uh, being pushed you, you've one got one all another, your power other, going into your engines pushed up. Yeah, let's get it to squeeze us up and out as opposed to Haddock's mm. got the right point. You've got all your power right now going into your structural integrity field. Mm-hmm. To take some of that power into the deflector dish, you'll get a pulse, not a sustained wave which is uh, it's going to be a tight window of opportunity where you'll get a moment where the wave will be cancelled out then you got to get power to the engines and punch it before it all roll back in it again and then around and around we go well I mean and you might not get a second chance like Armstrong could be able to punch it pretty quickly I, I can yeah punch. no but like <laughs> you could punch yeah uh L- lieutenant uh, we've all used our turns basically the next person who's getting a turn in terms of the game rules is, is, is them yeah. and yeah. then after that it's one of us and then after that it's one of them again uh, well we the combat has turns. come to an end as long as the structural integrity field stays up right, right. like wait, wait, once you've got the structural integrity field up I, I there's no point in me rolling I'm not dealing any more damage oh, right. okay. the combat won't start Unless you fail mm-hmm. one of these moves that it justifies the end of the structural integrity okay. field, and then we do the whole thing again. In that case... So you do have good. a chance here to make a plan. Okay, so the plan is to activate the deflector to nullify or cancel out the tractor beams and then punch it on the on the engines. But you're going to need to take power from the structural integrity, put it back into right. engines, right. and then he's going to need to punch it as like right after you do that, and all at the same time. Do you have another way to get the ship around without having to drop the power from the structural integrity into the engines? Thrusters. Thrusters that's, could work. Yeah, that's not going to generate be so enough. So slow. Uh, I mean, we could essentially program the the computer to essentially as soon as like pr- program the uh, uh, like uh, the algorithm to as soon as, as, as you, power as hit. soon as you it, it, like hit engage on on your engines that's when the py- the, the thing full pulse uh, goes off and that's when the engines kick on we right. could probably do that mm. so that way it's the computer that's doing the work essentially like we're not timing it we're not yeah we and don't have to time it is there and another way to move the ship without taking the power the engine power away the, from the structural integrity field. I mean, the field. standing wave from the deflector dish is the most, like, inside-the-box oh, thinking oh, part. Um, as GM, oh, who's a Star Trek fan, I mean, you've got shuttlecrafts that have tractor beams that might be able to tow the ship out um, if you get enough of them who mm-hmm. aren't uh, affected by this tractor beam. Um, you could decompress your shuttle bays to give yourself a push, but I don't know that might not get enough, you far yeah. enough. It would just get you out of the way of like the USS Bozeman with Kelsey Grammer as captain. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, uh, this this is this this is the best plan uh, to have it. It would be a science or engineering task uh, with a difficulty of two. And in this case, I would actually make it a um, one of these gated challenges. Science works. Get generate the standing wave. Then engineering works to restore power to en- uh, to engines, and then you get your con to move the ship out and and navigate. So out we of need the to do beam. three successful. So you tasks need to do three successful tasks in a row, which are each mm. going to be difficulty of two. And if you've got any kind of values, now would be the time to use them. Nope. I don't believe in the no win scenario anyone. Yeah, <laughs> no, um, I, really I don't. would use my talent of testing a theory. I've already succeeded at a science thing. Yep. We are testing this theory. Yep. That this will yep. work. So and so that talent. I get an extra die. Uh, it, that, yeah, you're right. It will generate an extra die on that task to generate the standing wave. You're absolutely right with yep. that talent. Yep. Um, and with engineering, um, both the engineers uh, can one can roll right. and the other can assist, and that would be their turn. And then on the bridge, we have Captain and Armstrong. Um, can 
work with each other to, to navigate out of the standing waves. Okay, right. so okay, and that gets everyone's a, working together in that. From an engineering yeah. standpoint, here's what I, here's what I can do, uh, and this I'll, I'll, I can do this. I can this will help Ken as well. So I'll I can head down to uh, deflector control to program the pulse uh, beam, and then I can use my talent of follow my lead. Uh, where if I succeed at that test during combat or another perilous situation, you may spend one determination. If you do, choose a single ally, which I'll choose Ken. The next task mm. that ally attempts counts as having assistance, and then they can use presence and command uh, to get an, basically okay. an extra Okay, so you're die. changing the order of events then. Um, are you then rolling with Lassa with the s- deflector dish now? No, Steve. And leaving Pike with the engines? Because uh, I had I had three challenges here. I had generate we've the standing wave, science check, and engineering science. check, and oh, restore power Sorry. to the engines, navigate out of the beams. So you're going to leave the engines to come help so with the standing. I'll, wave? I'll leave Ken with the engines, and then yeah, I'll come help with the deflector. But we okay. So, so then, so all right. So we're having to erase the whiteboard here and start again because we, 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 we had worked out a plan and now we had a plan you're mm-hmm. going to have to talk let's me through just this, stick Steve. with the plan you, you want right, to go right, no right, no, right, you, no, no never mind never mind you, never mind never mind, never, never mind. We, we'll, we, we'll, do, we'll do the plan you might, you've gotta, I like the idea of you going there I just want to know how it's going and how it also still uses everyone at the table so what is your talent again I don't remember it's follow my lead uh, so why one. can't anyone follow your lead with the engines why does it have to be the sensors because it, it doesn't have to be. We're just, already getting a bonus die yeah. from the sensors because of. I was trying Lassa's to add a narrative work. element to yeah. follow my lead, so that's what that's. You could you could I'm head doing. to you could head to the warp control. You could head down to the nacelles to to the actual fusion power plants, which okay. aren't in engineering. If you'd like to do that and 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 help restore power to the engines. Okay. Yeah. Right. It's the he's, same thing. He's got the deflector control. Okay. Okay. Sure. Get my get the engines running. Okay. Right. <laughs> Fine. It's okay. So when if he turns off the, if he turns on that deflector control and then the engines don't start up when we push the button. So Lass is going to generate a standing done. wave. You're going to be at the fusion plants restoring power to the engines and then directing Kenneth Kendrith to do what? Cuz follow my lead leads into the next task. Is that what you're saying? Um if I do choose an ally, so that yeah, and then the next I task that the next task that ally attempts. Can I can I can I see can I see the wording on that? Yeah. Um, like, could it be once per scene when you execute a task? Fix the engines you may spend one determination. Me. If you do so, yeah. So you could do the plan we had, where you work with Pike to restore engine power, and right. it's Armstrong and Haddock who follow your lead. Now that engines have been restored, they navigate out of the beam. Yeah, we're oh, waiting for you right. to turn the engines like, on before oh, we push it's the, okay, it's, it, right. We're following your lead. Mechanically, it's the exact same thing. It just doesn't like have us come up with a new plan. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. 15 minutes to go in Do episode it. two for a supposedly four-part episode that I think is going to end in two parts now. <laughs> All right. I'm going to, uh, to attempt to create this standing wave. Uh, it is, uh, sorry, it's reason oh, and die. science again. Uh, what's the difficulty? Two? I have three die. Yeah, you have three die, and the difficulty is, is, two. is two. Can he get an assist from the ship? Uh, with the, yeah, you can use um, uh, the, the ship's uh, sensors uh, and science, which, is cool. which would be 13. Oh, 13. Okay, I'll roll for the ship. 13. I got exactly a 13. Uh, uh, one critical success, a three also a critical success, and a twelve a success. Okay, so you g- actually you get more than a you you don't get you get more than a pulse. You get a, a, a critical success. You get an advantage of a standing wave has been formed as there there was a little extra juice there. You only used you know two of your ten power. So this is a galaxy glass ship after all, and you're able to get you know, just the right frequency, and you have a standing wave, you have a little more time. Um, in order to ensure that the fusion reactors don't overload while you're correcting this thrust through this wave, the engineering task that the two of you are going to be doing is a difficulty of three. Okay. Do it. Use all the power you need. But you've also got Pike on your side down there, mm-hmm. your professor right. who taught you everything he knows. You yep, could use that if you, wanted, if you wanted to use that. You want to use that? So he uses yep. his determination points. You've got a dice with one. 
Uh, so I got one success. You got one success at one already. One critical success. One critical success. Okay, so I'm. I've. Uh, I need to roll. What's the? Sorry. What's the? Uh, um, difficulty of difficulty. three. Difficulty. Difficulty of three. So I've already got one. So I just need to. What are you two. rolling engineering with? Um, As you, uh, it, it, it would be control. I would say control. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is this is delicate. You're dealing with antimatter. <laughs> And structural integrity fields, and if you do this wrong, the whole ship cracks like an egg. <laughs> and can I? I well, I have the value assist. Yep. But I also have the focus of warp field. And uh, never mind. Never mind. Never well, mind. Uh, yeah, I'm, no, uh, warp field dynamics would work. You've already got the one. Right. right? You've already, already used the determination so points. So I'm gonna, mind. I'm gonna call that as a win. Okay, so I'm only rolling two dice right now. <laughs> Um, um, uh, unless I could, well, I mean, I could. Like, we could roll for the ship too. You can also we got momentum where you can purchase dice, and you've got power, right? I got power. Yeah, and power, power doesn't purchase dice. Power more. generates momentum with those successes. So okay. we've already got you. So twos. buying another dice would cost two, correct? Yes. So here's yeah. Okay. So here's now you're two for one more die, okay. and uh, and use some power so that we get uh, that momentum back. I'll use another yeah, another two, another two power, because that gets me another dice, right? No, it doesn't. But no, it gets us no, more it doesn't. Power it generates momentum, momentum, not okay. dice. Uh, you can, uh, someone can roll for the ship. Uh, uh, Pike, Here, why don't you, uh, roll you get the... a roll? So Pike's down there. Okay, the, uh, Pike. the, the, um, this will be engines and, uh, engines and engineering. That's 13. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm rolling under a 15. And Ken, did you get a success with that 13 roll? I'm um, rolling now. Uh, yes. Whoa. Success. That's two successes. You just need one, Steve. Don't mess it up. Oh, that's nope. not good. Uh, how many? How many power did you buy? Did you buy any power? You uh, bought two. two. Okay, so two. you got one complication. I got one complication, uh. and uh, do, do you count a fifteen? Is uh, like if it's right, the number is success. Yes, that's a success. Yeah, that's okay, so then two that's, successes. Okay, so you got you got one over the success threshold. Um, you can use that success. Actually, that two. You can use it immediately, the advantage to cancel out the complication. Yes. So it yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Done. Yeah. All right. I was going to have so that um, uh, it was. Uh, we were just, I was just going to roll for it, have a containment leak, and then we can like. Can I also, to, uh, like, like more dump the warp core. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, all right, cool. No, thank so, you. So, you, no, you're able to. You. Prevent uh, a, 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 an antimatter <laughs> containment leak on the ship um, by by with the control. You saw it like go into the red just for a minute, like, mm, back in, and it was like a you hit it, like a give it at all she's got. <laughs> like you know those stupid adventure games where you got to balance on the log with the joystick yeah. with the with the tilt yeah, yeah. control, yeah. so you don't. Anyway, oh that's, god, that, yes. exactly. It was that. It was that. It was that thing, but on a and on an engineering the console. Drivers wants the game. <laughs> okay, well then that way, case then because I, I succeeded at that, then I will use follow my lead. Uh, and I will choose, I guess, Armstrong, because he's yes. going to be the one that to fly this thing. Yeah. So you get, essentially, an assistance from me, and you get to use presence and command. Oh, using my presence and command, which is... Uh, All right, so we get an assist roll Okay, you. You so get, you have a con uh, so you roll. Th- you get to roll another dice under 13. You're flying the ship out of the standing wave. Right. Through this interference point that you've generated. The tractor beams are still at full power outside of that wave, so you've got to move your way through this... Window of opportunity. Okay, it's quite literally just yep. a tunnel out right now. Um, so it's 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 a, it's definitely going to be con and control unless you can justify something else. No, uh, con, con and control works for me because my con's at four and my control's ten. Yeah. Okay. So um, I Haddock got that. And so I he got... already has an assist from from our. Uh, it, do, it, right? it, it, do, it doesn't exactly count as an assist. It just counts as another way to. Okay. It's a so talent I'm a, die. I'm assisting him. Yep. Uh, but I'm not assisting with Khan because I'm not being his co-pilot. I'm assisting with as his commanding officer. As his commanding officer, giving so him you can do support. presence and command if you want. Presence and command okay. to assist. And We're like you, easy, I will, easy. I, five degrees starboard. I will use my follow my lead, uh, basic presence and command to basically be like, okay, I'm going to tell you when to go. You're okay. you're helping him with the I'm, heading, watching the I'm view using screen. Using yes. my team dynamics focus for my third die because this is focuses point. don't generate die. Focuses oh. increase your uh, range? advantage range. Your advantage okay. range. Okay. So, so I'll do. Good. I'll still use team dynamics because yep that still works so now because your con is at four so right. if you roll between one and four that counts as uh, and a, what's the difficulty uh, a, a, like a triumph the difficulty um that's the end of the episode let's make it three can i challenge a value because right. armstrong is sick of bad things happening when he explores places i don't want to you don't really have the heart of the explorer anymore <laughs> <laughs> all right so so uh cross that out and uh add a determination point 
Do you want to spend that determination point for a one? That seems like a good Do it. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a good idea. All right. So you've got your one. Okay, got so a you one. you got your one success. Yeah. Okay. All so right. you got I'll... one, and then one from each of those guys, and then my two. We need, we need three here, so. Ah, uh, you got a success for me? I don't know how, but I failed at my ability to assist you with command. Well, I got two successes. No, well, I got a, yeah, I got, uh... So three six seven, did you help? I did, yes. I got All right, so we got four six. You got four. You you got you got Plus the extra like critical. You got the extra success. <laughs> I'm like, wait for it. Wait for it. Uh hey, go! Engage! <laughs> so basically I have a lot of I basically spend, what happened so is So as you're going through uh, you, you've got the, the deflector shield is going. I just got a whole lot of threat that I haven't been spending. So uh, as you're going through the um uh, uh, the, the ship is navigating its way out. And the standing wave was going, but the standing wave, uh, as uh, just as you're clearing the interference point, I throw in this complication for each player. The um, uh, the, the 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 wave, as we mentioned, wasn't going to sustain itself. You're navigating through, and you're on point, and the ship is going to free itself, but not before those pulse beams smash into each other, creating oh, uh, a, 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 a graviton wave that emits from the two beams now hitting each other and you're riding that wave and it hits the ship that still isn't really like the structural integrity is back down because the engines are back up so the whole ship gets rocked again this time like going forward as you're on some like tidal wave every player needs to roll a security task with two because you have no inertial dampeners if you fail this task you're going to be rolling damage just to see how badly you got hurt Security, uh, fitness? security fitness, I would Yeah, it's security that. task. So okay. you can use security fitness, but if you've got other ways to I'm use gonna, it. I'm going to be daring. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to use security. I'm use daring. daring. This yeah. is Same. Daring thing. Daring. You're, 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 you, you get all, you get your I'm surfing, ass baby. on yeah. one day. You don't have the controls. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Everyone right. shake, everyone shake. Yes. Oh, yeah. I succeeded Two successes. Both. Uh, success Two successes. And, uh, Fail oh, at right 19, here. which is a complication. Okay, um, no, it's only a complication if you spent power. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, the complication would normally be 20. <laughs> all right, so you all, like, weather the storm, and, you know, the ship gets banged around a bit. Second, I thought he was going to be like, and now the ship's going towards the planet. We, uh, <laughs> um, we all get banged around and switch seats as a result. And the two repulsor beams hit each other, and uh, it, it's a feedback, and you start seeing, like, you know, put it up on the view screen, the planet... Uh, the beams are like exploding along that array that was going on as they went back and they created an overload on the planet surface. So no, there's four points. No one else is going to be getting <laughs> caught in uh, in this particular Wait, trap. How many fingers? Even are still, <laughs> Lieutenant Bo. won't be sending any hand. more uh, survey. Teams. Lieutenant Bo, so, yes. drop a, a sensor boy warning anyone of this sector and the dangers that we encountered therein. I do. And I, I, I give you a threat while I do that. <laughs> <laughs> the sensor buoy works, but after like the, the, the third you know, ship, if you had tried called out, it. if you tried to call out like an SOS to call for help, you were so close to the Romulan border. I was gonna roll to see who answered first. That uh, never happened. Um, we can help ourselves. Yeah. Thank All right. You. Well, yeah. <laughs> you rode the wave of the of the, of, the, of the of the repulsor beams of the of the of the lost planets. Um, Starfleet uh, still has their message to look for the uh, Sashquahana, the runabout that's gone missing out uh, in the Shackleton Expanse. Hang on. Before we go looking for missing we shuttles, can't vent any damage any report. Damage. How are we doing? <laughs> You've taken two vent breaches the to the structure of the ship and two to the sensors. They've both been repaired, so they're fully operational, but the damage is there. You would have to stop back at Narendra Station to get it repaired. But to do Again. so would be to abandon the Susquehanna to whatever fate it's landed in. How long have they been missing again? Almost a month. And how long could they conceivably survive? Almost a month. (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) That's why Starfleet has sent out its flight plan to you. You're on the route that's closest to them, and they at least know the flight plan they were supposed to be on, and they need you to check up on them. And if anyway, they're on the way home to Narendra. Ensign Armstrong... Plot a course for their last known location. Can I do oh, yeah, long, long range sensors for You can warp do signatures? long range sensors for warp signatures, <laughs> but also do long range sensors for any more traps. 
I uh, I give no Justin one could have known the ship was covered in radiation. <laughs> the planets were covered in radiation. They they activated when they. I sent don't want to be walking into ship. any more tractor beams. I'll let you know one a, plan you had was send another you. ship out and try and trick the beams. <laughs> they wouldn't have given a crap about you. You would have had to find an object larger than the horizon. Right. To trick the beams because they're going for the largest one. Saying, they yeah, mistook no, you DNA. Like, for he was, he was an asteroid the entire time, <laughs> right? And it triggered you. Ah, it's another asteroid. Throw it into the planet. Continue the war that ended millennia Fantastic. ago, eons ago. All right. Well, that concludes this chapter entitled "Tug of War" for the Star Trek Living Campaign, ending a little ahead of schedule. I had planned this to be four episodes, ended up only being two. Uh, that felt pretty natural, so I'm just going to let it be as it is. So this is only two episodes. This works out really well because uh, Joshua, you and I are uh, about to be recording a game on Saturday, and we weren't really sure what we were going to put into the schedule. And I guess now it's going to happen in the last two weeks of March. I guess so. so. On uh, on Sunday or on Saturday, it doesn't matter when. Well. On a weekend, on a day in the future, but for you in the past, coming out next week, I hope this is going to be true. I've recorded two endings just in case. We are going to be taking a break from Star Trek Adventures a little earlier rather than playing it through the whole month. And we're going to do a special game for the second half of March. Ha! March Madness! And we're going to be playing a return to one of my favorite RPGs. It was the game that I originally ran on Terrible Warriors before I ran anything else. When I first joined the Terrible Warrior podcast, I needed to subject my friends to paranoia. I think that's Justin. Where, I think that's where our silliness on the show started. And you seem to have a lot of knowledge about this. No, system, no, no. Justin. I only have knowledge of paranoia XP. All of my knowledge is is obsolete now. It's, it's what, outdated. What is this paranoia XP, Justin? And as such, we are going to be playing through a game of paranoia with Joshua running the game. I will be subjecting myself to my worst nightmare because the worst thing you can do while playing paranoia is know the rules of paranoia. <laughs> so I am putting a target on my back, but I will not be alone. Uh, joining me at the table will be Bree Poison and special celebrity guest from the Sayer podcast, from Brute Force, from Geekly Inc., Adam Bash will be joining us on the show, connecting in from parts unknown to play through a game of Paranoia. Amazingly, a game he has never played and for the last four years has been producing a show called Sayer, which is eerily parallel to the nonsense that goes on in a Paranoia game. So... Sayer himself, the voice of Sayer, future ocean speaker, they will be joining us for a game of Paranoia, and that will be joining you next week for the rest of March as a special detour into the craziness that is uh, uh, the Paranoia. We're not playing Paranoia XP. We are playing the latest edition from Mongoose Publishing, uh, the the new Paranoia edition that they just put out, uh, was it last year, the year before, from a Kickstarter. Um, It looks beautiful, at least the cover of it. I'm not allowed to read the insides of the book because that would be treasonous. um, Or at least can't admit it while we're playing the game. Came out in 2016. Yeah, uh, and so it's a it's 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 a from brand from designers James Wall James Wallace, Greg uh, Howitt, and Paul uh, Dean. A brand new edition of Paranoia taken out of the 80s and brought into the modern age with all of the modern paranoia that we have brought in with us. So join us next week on Terrible Warriors as surprise, we're not playing Star Trek. We're not playing Paranoia with Adam Bash. <laughs> uh, but for Star Trek Adventures, this is the end of the tug of war. We will return for the next living campaign chapter, Signals, where a month ago, you all know of the runabout Susquehanna. It went on a survey mission into the... Oh, that's Seku system. That's the one we were just playing. Uh, oh, wait, no, it is Signals. The Seku system deep in the Arena Nebula and the uh, the, uh, Susquehanna runabout, the USS Susquehanna, was dispatched to investigate a mysterious signal of alien origin, but has failed to report in and is presumed lost. And now the horizon has been sent to investigate the mystery of the signals coming from Carina Nebula. Whoa! We'll join you next time for the Living Campaign for Star Trek Adventures and next week for Paranoia. Here around my table, my players and the crew of the Horizon, I have been the Game Master Justin Eacock with Science Officer. Lieutenant Bo Lasser, played by Velvet Duke. 
You can check them out. The uh, Dandies, Holodeck Follies. You'll be back eventually to oh, yes. keep playing. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, you took a month off to do something with a with, with a convention, but you're back at, at Comedy Bar every Saturday, every last Saturday of the month. That uh, second second Saturday, Saturday, Saturday of, of every month. month. It's one of those Saturdays of each <laughs> month. We tweet it out uh, and around uh, our chief engineer. Uh, Adam Monroe, played by Steve Saylor, the Blind Gamer. Blind Gamer, the YouTube channel. Blind Gamer, the podcast. I, Blind yes. Gamer, the Patreon page. Yes, patreon.com slash Steve Saylor. You can be able to get episodes of Blind Gamer uh, and the Blind Gamer podcast early. Uh, and yes, I do have a Blind Gamer podcast. You can search for it in uh, iTunes or on Google Play or any podcast, favorite podcast. Yes, thing. the and founder of the Terrible Warriors is going to cannibalize his own show with his other own show. Uh, well, <laughs> No, I mean, I, I figured I've been podcasting I, for I'm 13 just years. I'm yeah. uh, And not cannibalizing the show because it doesn't care about audience numbers are Helmsman himself. <laughs> Ensign Steve Sorry. Armstrong, played by Brent Morris from the Show Hole podcast and numerous other podcasts you yeah. can find at... The Plus. minute anyone listens to your podcast, you immediately quit. And you <laughs> close everything <laughs> down and you start a new one. <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs> How dare you? It's infrequent schedule. I don't, you're right. I don't care about audience. I do it for the fun. <laughs> and our intrepid commander. Commander Connell Haddock, played by Joshua Barbeau, also known sometimes as your friend, the computer. And uh, joining us uh, online from our Patreon Rewards program, who also has a podcast. Uh, Ken Reels, you can find my podcasts over... Uh, just search this anime literally everywhere. Um, this anime podcast uh, on Facebook. Uh, I should be able to have that up eventually. It'll well, probably be up by now. It, good luck because I know what it like to produce a podcast and to do one by yourself is a pain in the ass. So uh, you you get it done when you get it done, then you put it out when you put it out, and then something you happens. You can ask with me it. about that, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time on the Terrible Warriors with Paranoia, starring Adam Bash. Uh, join us on Patreon for a quick debrief of what we thought about Tug of War, uh, which was our second attempt at it. <laughs> Find out more by becoming a Patreon supporter and learning about how Justin tried to figure out the rules of the game. And that is a wrap for this leg of the Star Trek Adventures living campaign, Tug of War. Star Trek Adventures is published by Modifius Entertainment, and if you are enjoying listening to the Living Campaign and you've got a crew of your own, you can sign up yourself and play along with these stories. They're released for free on a mailing list. They're going to go into a season two. They're going to keep putting out new chapters. There's an entire thread in the Living Campaign that takes place in the 23rd century with the original Star Trek that we're not touching on this podcast. If you're playing the 23rd century story Storyline, let us know how that's going for you. I would love to hear that. Maybe we can incorporate that into our canon. Patreon supporters right now can head over to patreon.com slash terrible warriors to listen to the debrief episode we recorded at the end of this campaign, which included some milestone leveling up, the unique challenges that went into recording this particular story. We actually did record another version of Tug of War and scrapped it because it turned out so badly. We broke into that during the debrief and we talked about why this take, take two, turned out so well and why we released it to you. If you want to hear a little bit more about alternate endings that could have played out, some of the solutions they didn't try out in the campaign, all of that's going to be mentioned in the debrief with a little bit of a catch-up when we return to the living campaign in May. Follow us on Twitter at Dice Warriors and hang out with us on Discord. Let us know how you're enjoying the show and if you've got any games you're playing that you think we would enjoy, by all means, send us some favorite boards to feedback. Attention citizens of Alpha Complex, your attention is required. Attention citizens of Alpha Complex, we are pleased to announce that you have been selected for a voluntary mandatory bonus session to reorient yourself with the wonderful comings and goings of day-to-day -day life here in Alpha Complex. Under the watchful guise of our friend the computer, we will present to you a special four-part series. Follow along with Game Master Joshua Barbo and loyal citizens Justin Eacock, Bree Poison, Natalie Wallace, and special guest Adam Bash of the Sayer Podcast. If you'd like a sneak preview on the kind of humor not to expect on our show, you should download the Sayer podcast today. Sources indicate it's just been cleared for a fifth season. Over our next four-part series, you will learn the most important traits that go into being a loyal and productive citizen of Alpha Complex. Basic hygiene. Equipment maintenance. Utilizing your...
or as effectively being a part of a special city. Filling out proper forms if you suspect your team member is a traitor and remembering to always fill out the form that will put you But the most important trait of any loyal and productive citizen for Alpha Complex is that you are having fun. After all, it is important to remember that fun is mandatory. And so is listening to next week's episode, beginning March 20th, here on the Terrible Warriors. In today's Terrible Warriors, your crew of the Horizon that didn't get crushed like a tin can like I had planned, for Joshua Barbo, Velvet Duke, Steve Saylor, Brent Morris, Justin Eacock, and from our Patreon Rewards program, Ken Reels. We'll see you next time, right here on the Terrible Warriors.